Since last week's report by two Aldridge policemen that they saw an unidentified flying object, hundreds of viewers have written or phoned to say that they'd seen similar things. One of the most interesting reports came from a girl guides camp near Droitwich. They were camped next to the field in which I'm standing and they say that they saw what they think was a flying saucer hovering over this field for nearly an hour. Mrs Olive Granger was one of the guide leaders. We, Mrs McGowan, she's the uh, guider of Fort Dudley, we were having a la uh, last cup of cocoa round the campfire in the kitchen. The guides were in bed and suddenly there was this terrific roar and we looked up and this shape, it seemed to be um, just a s straight line with, la with uh, flashing lights, was coming towards us. We ducked and this thing um, swerved and went into the meadow, the next meadow, which is about 50 yards away from where we were. and. Uh, by this time, Miss Hare had joined us and two guides had come up to the kitchen and we, we just watched this uh, thing hovering. What did you think it was when you first saw it coming towards you? What was your first impression of I it? I thought it was an aircraft out of control um, and I, I thought that it was going to land on the campsite. We you were very it was going to Yes, into we it. really did. We were very frightened. We didn't hear it coming at all. We just heard this terrific roar, looked up and there it was. And what impression did you get over in the meadow? What, what shape did it appear to be then when you could have a good look at it? It seemed to be um, a circular shape. We didn't see it all round it. We just saw the one side of it. And we, we, we just saw lights. You got the impression that it was round though, didn't yes. you? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. It hadn't got any wings at all. It wasn't an aeroplane. I'm sure of that. Did anyone try to go and have another look at it, a closer look at it? Uh, Miss Hare wanted to go and uh, Mrs McGowan was terrified and I was frightened as well. But she would have gone if somebody had gone with her, but we were just scared. She did go to the manor to try and phone, but everybody was asleep and we didn't want to uh, disturb them because Land Lady Sands lived in the manor on her own and we didn't want to frighten her and we, we just couldn't get in touch with anyone else. What did you think it was? Well, <laughs> it wasn't an aeroplane, definitely wasn't an aeroplane and uh, we, it, it was either something from outer space or it was something that they're developing, you know, that's hush hush, they don't want us to know about. And how high above the ground was it hovering? Um, well, when it was coming over us, it, it wasn't very high at all, it was about house high, but when it was in the field, it was um, quite close to the ground. I should say about um, 30 feet off the ground, not, not more than that. Um, do you think you're an imaginative woman? And no. have, have, you, have you ever thought about flying saucers before now? Well, I, no, um, I have, we just haven't thought about them. I always said that if I saw one, I would believe in them. And until I did see one, I wouldn't. And I'm, I'm convinced that we saw something. There was definitely something there.